Chapter 2471, Nine Sons Domain, Mortal Orthodoxy, Poison Wolf King. Just from its name Dragon Binding Ropes, it was clear that this thing wasn't bad. However, Qing Shui had no idea if the so-called dragon was the same as the one in his mind. If it was the legendary divine dragon, then this dragon binding ropes would be too terrifying. But anyway it wasn't possible for it to be just ordinary demonic beast's dragon. It was because this was a divine earth grade weapon, so it shouldn't be that crappy. After all, this was the sole ability it had. At the thought of this, Qing Shui decided to give it a try. He looked at the primordial dragon elephant and struck out with the dragon binding ropes. Qing Shui had already sent a thought to the primordial dragon elephant to tell it to dodge and escape. The primordial dragon elephant's injuries had already recovered. At the instant it was escaping, the dragon binding ropes turned into a golden divine dragon. When Qing Shui saw this, he felt extremely agitated. This was the true appearance of a divine dragon. Roar! The primordial dragon elephant was caught. Qing Shui then felt that his origin qi was seeping away rapidly. Despite so, it was still at a level he could accept. The primordial dragon elephant was restrained and unable to budge. The primordial dragon elephant's current strength wasn't to be underestimated. Qing Shui felt confident in the dragon binding ropes to see that it could easily restrain the primordial dragon elephant, it deserved to be called a divine earth grade treasure. Qing Shui then tested it on Dark Phoenix and it continued to be successful. However, his origin qi depletion increased by several folds. In the end, it took about two breaths time for Dark Phoenix to break free. Qing Shui was satisfied, very satisfied. The dragon binding ropes couldn't kill powerful existences but could work together with Qing Shui's and his demonic beast's killing moves. After sharing the super foundation building pill and other things with the others, Qing Shui set up the spirit gathering formation and let them enter training in seclusion. They should head for the Nine Moons Domain's Imperial City next, as Qing Shui didn't wish to travel city by city. He didn't have the time to do so nor was there a need to do so. The demise of the mortal cities he clan also caused the reputation of Qing Shui and his group to rise up rapidly. Everyone knew that a demonic young man had risen up like a comet. This was a new star that was rising up like how the sun rose up in the east. The he clan wasn't just the dominator in mortal city. It was also very well known even amongst the entire Nine Moons domain. Many powers in the Imperial City also felt at a loss upon hearing of the He Clan's demise. They had already received news that this man and the group he was with were going to the Imperial City. People who were well informed already knew that Qing Shui and the group had wiped out many supreme aristocratic clans and great sects on the way. Many great clans and powers had started to warn their clansmen and juniors not to offend Qing Shui. Otherwise, the clan would kill them personally to apologize to Qing Shui. In a cluster of buildings that was like a palace in the Nine Suns domain, something that was like a small porcelain bottle in an ancient ancestral hall suddenly shattered. Clan's head, the demonic bottle for the mortal city has shattered. A middle-aged man rushed into a hall. I got it. You can take your leave. An aged voice rang out. Yes. A prestigious-looking old man sat in the hall. His body was straight and he had broad shoulders as well as a tall stature. His thick hair and beard made him look like a ferocious lion. He was slowly pacing around when a man walked in, wearing luxurious clothes. This man had an extraordinary disposition and appeared handsome and graceful. Grandfather, you were looking for me, the man asked respectfully. There's trouble at Mortal City. Earlier, we've found out that it's a group of people from the Divine Palace who did it. Head over to the Nine Moons domain to take a look. There's no rush to do anything. Just see if there's anything special about this person and if he has any background. The old man looked at the other man, his pair of eyes appearing deep and aged. Yes, I'll be heading over, the man said seriously. Go on. Nine Moons Domain? Worn out by a long journey, Qing Shui and the group finally arrived in the Nine Moons Domain's Imperial City after two months. This world was too big. Right now, Qing Shui's ability to travel was already very terrifying. However, this trip still took them so long, showing them how vast the Nine Moons domain was. An ancient aura filled the air. Qing Shui's spiritual sense was very sharp and upon reaching, he could sense that the backgrounds of the people in the Imperial City were much stronger compared to that of mortal cities. Two months time. In terms of the time flow for the realm of the Violet Jade Immortal, over 15 years had passed. Qing Shui had reached the six mortal steps and could instantly take six steps right away. 
Ching Shui's talent could be said to be absolutely top-notch. Moreover, he had practiced relentlessly time and time again. From the beginning until now, he had cultivated several thousand or several ten thousand times. Practice makes perfect and unknowingly, he had slowly dug into its real intent. Taking over ten years to cultivate to six steps, this speed wasn't considered fast. However, Ching Shui knew that his cultivation was definitely different from ordinary people. In his previous life, people tended to say that one must keep on studying until the contents were deeply engraved into their brains. In such a situation, one would either destroy themselves in their training or reach a terrifying realm. The six mortal steps let Ching Shui get a lot stronger. If he were to fight against He Lian Binao, Ching Shui could use frontal attacks to win against him. Ching Shui tried to cultivate the giant golden spiritual figure but realized that he was unable to cultivate in it. He had no idea why he couldn't even reach the lowest level in this technique. It was as if there was a repulsion. On the other hand, the Diamond Battle God and Hill Moving Battle God both improved in this technique at a tremendous rate. In the end, Ching Shui gave up on it. The two ladies chose not to pick this skill up, saying that they didn't wish to take on that burly built. The Massacre Battle God was also unable to learn it. Ching Shui found this baffling. It was a pity that they didn't get the other things like Mortal's Regrets and Mortal's Palm. It was very lively in the Imperial City. Ching Shui knew that Tantai Linjian could be here, but he wasn't sure if she was still around. If she was, Ching Shui planned to let her learn the mortal steps as well. Regardless of the situation, she was his woman. Even if they were standing on opposite stands now, this was still a fact. Ching Shui asked around and the results made him very happy. The demon gate was still here and it was a powerful force here. Not only was the demon gate here, but there were also the major sects in the nine continents as well as the divine palace. There were also many mysterious forces here as well. The imperial city was a lot more complicated, and the royal family was also a deep, unfathomable force, inheriting an ancient legacy. Let's find a place to settle down first. Shall we head to an inn or to the divine palace here? Nyo Lan smiled and asked. Let's head to the inn first. We'll go pay a visit to the divine palace tomorrow. Ching Shui gave it some thought before saying. The group stayed in a big inn in the imperial city. There were many inns here next to each other. They couldn't tell which ones were better, as all of them had a bustling business. All of them were decorated extravagantly and emitted great fragrances. This inn was called the Nine Continents Food Residence Cloud Inn. No wonder it's so popular. It's the Nine Continents Food Residence. What about that one over there? Nine Continents Food Residence Star Inn. Chain Stores. Ching Shui let out tisk sounds and then entered into the inn. Ching Shui suddenly stopped and looked in the leftward direction behind him. A man was looking at him from a distance with a concealed aura. That guy was very handsome but appeared to have a little demonic charm. Earlier on, Ching Shui had clearly sensed a killing intent that had come from this guy. This made Ching Shui baffled. He had just arrived in the Imperial City. Who on earth wanted to kill him? Heavenly Vision Technique? Ching Shui kept having the feeling that his aura wasn't right. At one look, Ching Shui was stunned. This person was a poison wolf that was pitch black? The poison wolf king. The senior martial brother of that woman from the Divine Rain sect. This was what Ching Shui had sensed, and his sense wouldn't be wrong. Since he had met this guy, he decided to get this matter settled. Ching Shui said to the others, you guys go in first. Be careful. I'll go and take care of something. Everyone in the group was now very strong and thus Ching Shui wasn't very worried. He had the feeling that he wouldn't take long. Ching Shui walked over to the Poison Wolf King, but the latter backed off. Although the Poison Wolf King didn't look like he was moving very fast, he was actually moving at a very fast speed. Ching Shui crossed several hundred meters in one step and followed after the Poison Wolf King with ease. Chapter 2472 Killing the Poison Wolf King the powerful divine battle puppet. This man moved very quickly and retreated to the outside of the city. Ching Shui gave chase without being in a hurry. He was sure that this guy was the senior martial brother of that woman from the divine rain sect. Ching Shui thought of that woman, a sky fox and a lady of unrivaled beauty. Very soon, Ching Shui thought of the relationship between himself and that woman. If he didn't want her, she would live the life of a widow for him. Very soon, they arrived in a stretch of wilderness. There were no mountains here but it had a lot of grass and trees. Moreover, the land was very bumpy with a lot of mounds around. 
Some of them were even several tens of meters tall. The man ran for a while before coming to a stop, turned and smiled to look at Ching Shui. Why aren't you running anymore? Ching Shui smiled and asked. To think that you managed to neutralize my junior martial sister's poison. You've spoiled my plans and you must take responsibility for it. The poison wolf king smiled viciously. You're just a guy without any balls. To think that you're still able to smile. Ching Shui looked at this effeminate guy and smiled in contempt. The poison wolf king's countenance turned extremely grim. No one knew that he had no balls those who knew had all died. In fact, it wasn't that he didn't have any. He had used a medicinal pill that could regrow a person's flesh and bones, thus, they had grown out again. However, he had no idea why he couldn't use them. Ching Shui knew what the reason was. It was due to a problem with his Yingjin A cup ointment. Although the miraculous medicine could revitalize a person's flesh and bones, it wasn't as if it could do anything nor was it capable of treating every single scenario. For some reason, his impotence didn't show any signs of getting better. You're courting death? I shall let you have a try of this feeling as well. Poison Wolf King's countenance became even grimmer. People who were mentally unsound would like to pull people down to join them. The Poison Wolf King would feel a lot more comfortable if others were to lose their balls like he did. Over these years, he had caused countless men to lose their balls. Boom, a wisp of black fog rose up and instantly encompassed the surroundings. Chi-chi, sharp sounds rang out all over and the Poison Wolf King held on to a pitch-black longsword while charging out toward Ching Shui. Area dominance? The snow-white color around Ching Shui scattered off the black fog in the surroundings. At this moment, the Poison Wolf King's black sword attacked him. A stream of sharp black glow flashed like a black hole as if capable of engulfing a person. Suppress? Ching Shui flipped his hand over and a huge hand imprint pressed downward. Boom! The Poison Wolf King's body only swayed a little, and it suddenly turned into a huge pitch black poison wolf. The black smoke that circled around his body caused the surrounding plants to rapidly disappear. Even the ground turned black, and it seemed as if there was a layer of black swamp water. Ching Shui frowned. The Poison Wolf King's physical body was very small. Although the attack from earlier wasn't the strongest, it didn't deal any damage to the Poison Wolf King. Who? The Poison Wolf King was like a black whirlwind. The surrounding world seemed to all have turned black, and the Poison Wolf King charged out toward Ching Shui with a sharp cry. A fine stream of venom shot out toward Ching Shui like an arrow. Nine Continents Mountain? Ching Shui called out the Nine Continents Mountain to block this venom. Roar? The Poison Wolf King let out a loud bellow, and something that was like a pitch black claw appeared in the air, pressing down on Ching Shui like a small mountain. This was the Poison Wolf King's powerful heavenly technique. Ancestor's Sharp Claw? This was an hereditary battle technique within the Poison Wolf tribe. It was extremely sharp and was said that it could tear through anything. When it was cultivated to an extreme, it was said that it could destroy anything. With a thought, the dragon-slaying beast was called out and it shot out toward that ancestor's sharp claw. Boom! At this moment, Ching Shui blocked the Poison Wolf King's path so that he couldn't escape. It was time to get this settled. The poison wolves from back then had been his subordinates and he had killed quite a number of them. Six mortal steps. Violent aura gushed out toward the poison wolf king. The poison wolf king's countenance changed drastically, and his eyes kept darting around. Anyone could tell that he wanted to escape. Dragon binding ropes. Ching Shui wore a faint smile on his face. The poison wolf king who was just about to flee realized that he was unable to move his body. At the same time, Ching Shui waved his hand. Stellar transposition? A glow that was like the Milky Way's silver color came crashing down, and the Poison Wolf King's eyes were wide open. He then disappeared amidst this Milky Way. The stellar transposition when used together with the six mortal steps was far too terrifying. It wasn't something that the Poison Wolf King could fend off. The Poison Wolf King was considered to be quite strong. But that was when compared with Ching Shui of the past when Ching Shui had been at the second tier of the Nurture God realm. This top-notch genius was still a far cry from Ching Shui. With the dragon binding ropes, it was not an issue for Ching Shui to instantly kill him. There was nothing left behind. Furthermore, Ching Shui had no idea if the Poison Wolf King had any other comrades with him. Were there any forces behind him? Ching Shui left. Killing the Poison Wolf King was something that came very suddenly. Even if the Poison Wolf King had a force behind him, they probably wouldn't be able to find him within a short period of time. 
One hour hadn't passed after Ching Shui returned to the inn. After the rest saw Ching Shui back, all of them asked him about what had happened. Ching Shui didn't hide anything and told them about the matter of the Poison Wolf King. This Poison Wolf King really deserves to die. Killing him was actually just going easy on him. Niu Lan smiled. It's good to kill. It'd be leaving a trouble to leave him alive. There were two more level up stones. Ching Shui decided to level up the Divine Battle Puppet. It was also very fast to level up the Divine Battle Puppet. This time around, the Divine Battle Puppet's change was also very big. Divine Battle Puppet? Divine Grade Battle Puppet, damaged, can be fixed currently can reach a strength of 80 trillion Deo Force. Requires Owner Recognition. Controlled by Consciousness. Method for Owner Recognition. Obtain 10 drops of Blood Essence and insert them onto the Tian A Cup Ointment, Shan Zhong A Cup Ointment, Ling Tai A Cup Ointment, Shen Fu A Cup Ointment. With the influence of the Spirit Gathering Lamp and the Heaven Shaking Drum, the effects from Qing Shui's Battle God Halo, Formations, and the Caves, it could reach 240 trillion Deo Force. Qing Shui had no idea if using the Level Up Stone would be able to fix the Divine Battle Puppet. This time around, it was a lot better than before. Since he still had another Level Up Stone, Qing Shui wanted to give it a try as it could still be fixed. However, Qing Shui was still a little hesitant. Should he make another attempt? Although the Divine Battle Puppet was considered quite strong now, it was a lot weaker compared to the Primordial Golden Bear and Dark Phoenix. It wasn't even comparable to the Primordial Dragon Elephant. Hmm, good things are meant to be used. What's the point of keeping them? Ching Shui used the last piece of the Level Up Stone to fix the Divine Battle Puppet. After taking another look, Ching Shui's eyes lit up and he smiled. Divine Battle Puppet? Divine Grade Battle Puppet, damaged, can be fixed currently can reach a strength of 180 trillion Deo Force. Requires Owner Recognition. Controlled by Consciousness. It was very hard to destroy its tough body, and there were chances that there would be the effects of Shield Attack, Critical Strike, Pushing Back, Laceration, or Dizziness dealt to the opponent when it attacked. In a lucky situation, two or three conditions could appear at the same time. Method for Owner Recognition. Obtain 10 drops of blood essence and insert them onto the Tian A cup ointment, Shan Zhong A cup ointment, Ling Tai A cup ointment, Shen Fu A cup ointment. With the influence of the spirit gathering lamp and the heaven shaking drum, the effects from Ching Shui's battle god Halo, formations, and the caves, it could reach 540 trillion Deo force. Ching Shui was feeling very agitated. Although the divine battle puppet was still in a damaged condition after this round of fixing, its ability had gone through a tremendous change. Not only had it become a lot stronger, but its abilities also improved tremendously, or rather, terrifyingly. The Divine Battle Puppet's resistance to attacks raised qualitatively. This wasn't all. The effects dealt to the opponent when it attacked were too terrifying. Shield attack, critical strike, pushing back, laceration, and giddiness. There were five conditions and even if the chances of them occurring wasn't high, one would still appear even if the other didn't. Therefore, it was definitely considered terrifying. Chapter 2473, Tantai Linjian's Immortal Qi, Immortal Painter Battle Goddess. The three level up stones were used up and Ching Shui had also used a lot of the other items. However, the effects were still apparent. The next day, Ching Shui didn't head to the Divine Palace first. This was the imperial city and since he knew that Tantai Linjian was here, he naturally had to go visit her first. Regardless of what had happened, their relationship was certain. It was just that it was very hard for their relationship to develop as normal. Right now, Ching Shui was also refreshed, and he felt relaxed all over. Since he had gotten stronger and had demonic beasts and other things as well, he now had some confidence to be in the imperial city. He would still need to work on the mortal steps. The seventh step was very important. It was a huge change, unlike how it was between the fifth and the sixth step. The Poison Wolf King had been killed, things were going on strangely smoothly. The Poison Wolf King only had his poor luck to blame. To think that he had to meet Ching Shui when Ching Shui had just gotten stronger and gotten his hands on the dragon binding ropes. Once constrained, no matter how powerful the Poison Wolf King was, he could only wait to be killed. Moreover, Ching Shui was a lot stronger compared to him and what that awaited the Poison Wolf King was just an instant kill. Nine Continents Demon Gate Ching Shui felt that this was like a chain store, distinguished by different domains. 
This was the Imperial City, so it was the Imperial City Nine Continents Demon Gate, or the Nine Continents Demon Gate Nine Moon Domain Imperial City. Although the name was a little old-fashioned, this place had a top-notch style of an Imperial City. The place was in a deep, dignified, and rustic color, with a hint of extravagance to it. Black could also be presented in a dignified and graceful manner, and the place also had a kind of mysterious, cool aura to it. Ching Shui looked at it from afar, releasing his aura. He knew that Tantai Linjian would come out very soon. It was a good day with blue sky, white clouds, and abundant grass growing around the place. This place was on a secluded mountain in the city. Major powers tended to have the same issue to all be built on a mountain. Moreover, the mountain must be a tall one. Sometimes, the height where they were located could also be a strength indicator between a strong or a weak force. After the time taken for an incense stick to burn, Tantai Linjian carried Ching Tan out. She wore plain snow white clothes and tread in the air like a fairy. Her great beauty emitted an intense celestial flare and the faint smile she wore caused Ching Shui to be in a daze for quite a while before he rubbed his nose and embraced them in his arms. Father. Did Tan Er miss father? Ching Shui kissed the lass on the cheeks before then planting a kiss on Tan Tai Linjian's face. I do. I think of you every day. But mother isn't willing to bring me to go and find you. Ching Tan pouted. How dare you not miss me? I shall punish you with our family's rules. Ching Shui grinned and then slapped onto Tantai Linjian's perky butt. It was very bouncy, bouncing a little when he slapped it. Rascal, you got here so quickly. Tantai Linjian threw Ching Shui a coquettish glare and then smiled. Linjian, you've changed. Hmm, what's your current strength? Ching Shui realized that he was still unable to assess her strength clearly. It was really scary. You'll find out in the future. If you still dare to bully me, I'll give you a thrashing. Tantai Linjian just smiled. Her smile was graceful and breathtaking. This was the strongest feeling that Ching Shui had gotten from her. It was a completely different aura from what she had been in the past and was too faint. Ching Shui felt very astonished. It was as if it was something in his arms, yet he couldn't seem to come into contact with it. Moreover, that feeling seemed very distant. I came after you without stopping, but it seems that you're going to be leaving again. Ching Shui's senses were very sharp. MMM, I'll be waiting for you in the Nine Continents Demon Gate. I'm already strong enough to take on the Nine Continents Demon Gate. Tantai Linjian took Ching Shui's hand. Ching Shui trembled. If she was already strong enough to challenge the highest existence in the Nine Continents Demon Gate, then how strong was she now? How could she become so strong? How much energy was contained in the Demon Saint blood that had been sealed previously? Were they all unsealed now? I have something here for you. I don't know if it'd be of any help. Ching Shui handed her the Nine Mortal Steps. Tantai Linjian was also stunned when she saw the Nine Mortal Steps. After flipping through it, she looked at Ching Shui and said, this thing would be able to rank amongst the top five, or even top three amongst all Paragon technique. Are you really going to let me learn it? Aren't you afraid that it'd be even more difficult for you to win against me in the future? Ching Shui slapped her round butt as an answer. Let's test it out tonight and see who will be the one asking for mercy. You're so bad. You scoundrel. Tantai Linjian was a little helpless. She realized that she had unknowingly not know how to deal with him again. She would definitely be the Demon Gate's sect leader, and their positions would definitely be on opposite sides. After thinking about these, she shook her head, feeling a little troubled. She decided to leave the matters for when the time came. Things might take a different turn then. Ching Shui carried Ching Tan and took Tantai Linjian's hand as they strolled around the surrounding mountain peaks to enjoy the scenery. It was rare that he was feeling so relaxed. Ching Shui had already let go of a lot of burdens in his heart. And it wasn't like how things were in the past where he kept having the feeling that he was being chased after by something terrifying. He would be a goner if he were to run too slowly. Ching Shui knew that being in that situation had its benefits. Humans were scared of slacking off and once they did, things would be like riding a boat on a reverse current keep moving backward. Ching Shui told himself that he couldn't stop, even if it was for the sake of Tantai Linjian. This world was very dangerous, and no one could claim to be invincible. Ching Shui must get stronger so that there would be assurance to his own life. Ching Shui spent the night in Tantai Linjian's room. The meeting of two people who had been missing each other after being apart for so long would naturally lead to sparks flying. Ching Shui couldn't understand why there was an immortal chi coming from Tantai Linjian. She was a demon lord, 
But this immortal qi seemed to be very pure and made Qing Shui very infatuated. Even though Tantai Linjian was very clear of the sensations, she was still unable to let herself go and was more passive. However, Qing Shui was very thick-skinned and went through a lot of means to guide her into riding him. Her swaying figure was so beautiful that it made his blood vessels swell up. Her snow-white skin seemed to be emitting a divine light, releasing a faint fragrance that made her seem exquisite and perfect. In the end, Tantai Linjian gave in to Qing Shui, laying face down on the bed and lifting her round butt. Her beautiful and mysterious garden bloomed before Qing Shui, and Qing Shui almost died from a serious blood loss after seeing a goddess-like lady like her displaying such a posture. At that moment, Qing Shui felt as if his blood was boiling. He turned into a wild beast, sending her to the peak of ecstasy time and time again. In the Nine Continents Divine Palace situated in the Imperial City. This was the strongest divine palace that Qing Shui had encountered. Qing Shui and the group headed for the divine palace and received a warm welcome. After all, the reputation of Qing Shui and the others in Mortal City had already reached their ears. Many people here knew of their existence. Qing Shui was very surprised to find out that it was a palace mistress managing this place. She was a mature and alluring woman with a high stature and curvy peaks. Her beauty was a little bit lower compared to Tantai Linjian and the two ladies, but in terms of allure and charm, the other three wouldn't be able to win against her even if their allure and charm were added together. It wasn't that the three women's disposition couldn't make it. It was just that in terms of seducing men, men would tend to think of bed immediately after seeing this person, and then their thoughts would run wild. On the other hand, Tantai Linjian and the two ladies tended to make others feel inferior and ashamed. It wasn't the case for this woman. She would immediately agitate the beastly nature in men, causing them to be unable to think of anything else. This woman's allure wasn't the kind of cheap and lowly seduction. Although it would make one's thoughts run wild, it wouldn't cause men to go crazy. This was what was so amazing about this woman. She was an immortal painter battle goddess, an amazing legacy inheritor. She could use her origin chi to draw demonic beasts that could fight for her. Whatever she drew would come to life and it would all depend on her realm to see how strong the battle prowess she could release and what kind of existences she could produce. Chapter 2474, Nine Suns Domain, Divine Dragon's Embryonic Form, Jade Brush. Qing Shui and the others were a little surprised, but the woman didn't seem surprised. When she saw Qing Shui, she smiled and walked up to him. Mister's reputation can be said to be known by all in the Imperial City. Is that so? Qing Shui rubbed his nose. Mortal City's He Clan is also considered a top-notch existence even in the Imperial City. It's really difficult to be able to suppress them. Even if one is capable of doing so, they would also suffer great casualties on their end. Qing Shui shook his head. There are too many powerful existences that kept themselves hidden. Given palace mistress capabilities, you should be able to take them down too. The woman was stunned for a moment before she smiled. To be honest, I can't. I'm weak by myself and once I'm engaged in close combat, I'd be in danger. This took Qing Shui by surprise. This information revealed how powerful the woman was. There was some kind of immortal qi similar to the one in Tantai Linjian's body in hers as well. Qing Shui guessed that this was something one could get after reaching a certain level in their cultivation. He wasn't really sure if this was true. Come, come, don't just stand here. Everyone, come in. The woman welcomed Qing Shui and the group in. Other than the immortal painter battle goddess, there were ten or more people. Out of these people, the most outstanding one of them was the divine cudgel battle god. He was a middle-aged man with a burly figure, and there was a petite woman next to him. The woman only appeared petite because she was standing next to the man. The woman was also an alluring one with a curvy figure, looking like a mature but married young lady. They were introduced as husband and wife the Divine Cudgel Battle God and Flying Blade Battle Goddess. When Qing Shui saw them, he was also amazed. If they were ordinary people, the man would probably crush the woman. However, the same concern wasn't necessary for cultivators. Moreover, they could just do the writing or other positions anyway. Qing Shui saw that this woman had seductive and watery eyes, clearly a person who was living a very nourished life. After taking another look at the Divine Cudgel Battle God, he knew that this man would have an astonishing stamina. Tea was served. The several tens of people didn't seem like a lot in this hall. At this moment, the immortal painter Battle Goddess smiled and looked toward Qing Shui. Why don't you take over the Divine Palace here? 
Ching Shui was stunned for a moment, then he shook his head. I don't have that capability. This divine palace can definitely be ranked amongst the top three of all divine palaces. Have you guys thought of heading to the Nine Suns domain? The immortal painter battle goddess gave it some thought before shaking his head. If there aren't any accidents, we won't be heading to the Nine Suns domain. The world is so big. Although the divine palace might be considered strong here, once we get involved in the matters in the Nine Suns domain, the divine palace would probably be wiped out. By who? Ching Shui asked. The demon gate, nine continents powers, as well as some unique existences. Even the divine palace wouldn't allow us to head over. The woman smiled and said. Ching Shui's heart skipped a beat. This woman must know many things. Moreover, it seemed that the divine palace in the nine sons domain must have become a part of some clan. All the battle gods in the world were his, and there was probably no such thing as fair competition anymore. On the road, Ching Shui had encountered quite a number of divine palaces, and some of them even gave up the command over to Ching Shui without him asking for it. I won't be staying long here. I want to head to the Nine Suns domain to take a look. Ching Shui gave it some thought and said. Ching Shui was definitely going to head to the Nine Suns domain. Tantai Linjian had already left. It wouldn't be that easy for her to fight for the position of the Demon Gates sect master. The other party wouldn't just give up the position to her just because of her demon saint blood. I know. After seeing you, I know that you'll definitely head to the Nine Suns domain. Why don't you bring us along? The immortal painter battle goddess blinked her alluring eyes, sending ripples straight into Ching Shui's heart. Ching Shui had no idea if what the woman had said was the truth. Therefore, he smiled and answered, if you guys really have this intention, then we can go together. There'll definitely be a very big matter that will occur, with there being both opportunities and dangers. Many people will head for the Nine Suns domain, and there would also be many who leave the place to hide, the immortal painter battle goddess said seriously. Regardless, I'll definitely head to the Nine Suns domain. Ching Shui frowned. It seemed that things weren't as simple as they seemed to be. However, there was no way that he would back off. How about this? I'll bring along some people and head to the Nine Suns domain together with you. The immortal painter battle goddess looked at Ching Shui. That'll be great. All right, that's settled then. Old Bao, I'll trouble you to take care of the divine palace in the future, said the woman decisively. A man with a long beard walked out, wearing a bitter expression. Bring me along. Although a large number of the demon sex members have left, you're needed to take care of this place. I'll still be coming back here in the future. The immortal painter battle goddess had no hesitation at all. Old Bao nodded helplessly. All right. One week later, Ching Shui's group continued on their way. However, there were several tens of people that had joined in, including the divine cudgel battle god, his wife, and the mystic turtle battle god. The mystic turtle battle god was the battle god with the strongest defense that Ching Shui had encountered. The mystic turtle battle god was tougher than diamond, but he had a flaw, having a weak attack. His strongest aspect was his defense. Ching Shui liked his ability a lot. In addition to his own abilities, the mystic turtle battle god was definitely like a cockroach, hard to kill. There was also the golden saber battle god. Ching Shui thought of the dragon saber battle god who had grown old. His successor should be rising up soon, and this person would also be his sibling. The battle gods who were with the immortal painter battle goddess had a lot more strength and experience compared to the ones who were with Ching Shui. The strongest of them was the immortal painter battle goddess. The divine cudgel battle god's strength especially his attacking prowess wouldn't lose out to the massacre battle god either. Nine Suns Domain? The moment they stepped into the Nine Suns Domain, they noticed that this place was situated above an ocean domain, surrounded by a vast and endless stretch of seawater. Ching Shui would set up positions with the five elements divine flags as they went on the way such as in the Nine Moons Domain's Imperial City and the Nine Stars Domain's Imperial Cuisine Hall. He only set up a position in the central continent out of its all five continents. The Nine Suns in the sky formed a line and was really an impressive sight. However, the temperature here wasn't scorching hot. Of course, there were many places in the Nine Suns Domain with high temperatures, and many treasures were also a result of there being Nine Suns. An accident occurred on their way to the Nine Sun Domain. They were assaulted. However, the attackers were killed by Ching Shui's group. Ching Shui felt a little uneasy about this, as one of the men killed had used the nine mortal steps. Ching Shui had no idea if this person was from the He clan or from some other places. 
That man was very strong and his martial arts were very similar to the He clan's, albeit more skillful. Ching Shui had encountered someone like the He clan's old ancestor already, so he felt that this guy wasn't a member of the He clan. This person wasn't from the He clan yet had surpassed the He clan. Ching Shui thought of that mortal who had left the mortal city. After leaving the mortal city, he could only have headed to the Nine Suns domain. Boom, strong gales suddenly blew on the seas, sending soaring waves and terrifying whirlpools that could even create black holes within them. It was a horrifying sight. Roar, an extremely black creature soared into the sky. It had a hideous head that was like that of a dragon yet not one. Its huge body was like that of a huge snake, but it had four claws and had horns on its head. Ching Shui's eyes lit up. This creature bore a 60% resemblance to the divine dragon, but it looked too ugly and its head wasn't like a dragon's. It emitted a terrifying aura and came down from the sky, turning its body and lashing out like a whip toward them. The immortal painter battle goddess eyes lit up and something that was like a jade-colored brush appeared in her hand with a seething glow. With a tap, a series of jade-colored light spots connected onto the huge demonic beast like a line. When the line lit up, it suddenly became extremely bright. The immortal painter battle goddess then rapidly drew with the jade brush. Her elegant figure moved smoothly like water with an indescribable charm and rhythm. This provided a visual impact and enjoyment to Ching Shui, in addition to a hint of agitation. He had a strong urge to embrace that beautiful figure and gave her a piece of himself. Chapter 2475, Nine Suns Purgatory, Myriad Treasures Battle God. She seemed to be both very fast and very slow, however, in actual fact, not much time had passed. The snow-white demonic beast that seemed aesthetically real appeared. Surprisingly, it looked exactly the same as this pitch-black creature. It was just that the one the woman had drawn was snow-white in color and wasn't moving at all, adding the finishing touch to bring the art to life. After the superb final touch by the woman's jade brush, the snow-white creature emitted a brilliant glow that was extremely bright. Roar! A loud roar rang out and the snow-white creature came to life. It darted out toward the huge black demonic beast. Boom boom. Terrifying clashing sounds rang out and it didn't take long before the huge snow white demonic beast ended up being at a disadvantage. At this moment, the woman picked up the jade brush once again. Swoosh swoosh. Her beautiful figure moved around again, and a huge demonic beast that looked exactly like the one before appeared. The situation became one where it was two demonic beasts against one now. It wasn't just a two on one situation. The second one that had appeared seemed to be a little bit stronger than the one before. Ching Shui looked at the woman and sensed that she hadn't depleted much of her energy. Moreover, this woman's battle technique was too mysterious. It was simply a case where you returned one's attacks onto themselves. As long as her realm was high enough, she could make her opponents feel very aggrieved. It was because it would be as if they had committed suicide. Demonic beasts weren't the only things that she could draw. She could also draw people. Regardless of what it was, the existences that she produced could last about 15 to 30 minutes. The stronger the existence she drew, the shorter the duration would be. However, it was said that when the immortal painter battle goddess reached the highest level, the thing produced from the drawing could exist for very long or even be permanent, as if they were an actual life form. However, it was very difficult to reach this realm. It was a legendary existence. Ching Shui thought of drawing people, as it could catch the opponent unaware. However, the end products being drawn didn't have a soul after all. It'd be useless even if one could reach the level of being able to draw souls. The greatest use of them was for battle, and everything else were secondary. As long as the end products were put together with humans, it would be very simple to differentiate them. In the end, the pitch black creature escaped. The two snow white demonic beasts that were drawn also disappeared. Your way of battling is really too amazing. Ching Shui commented strongly. If I were to encounter an expert, I wouldn't have the chance to make a move. The immortal painter battle goddess shook her head. So what you need is a set of amazing movement technique as well as some powerful demonic beasts. They will protect and allow you to draw out some existences for battle, Ching Shui said. I have a set of movement technique, but it's a pity that I haven't been able to attain a breakthrough in it. I also have a few demonic beasts, but they are a bit difficult for me to sustain as well. The immortal painter battle goddess looked at Ching Shui. Why, is anything not right? Ching Shui asked when he saw her looking at him. It's nothing. The immortal painter battle goddess's gaze was a little dodgy, and her face was a little red as well. 
This made Ching Shui feel very puzzled. This woman's figure was well embodied like a young married lady, and she had an alluring appearance. He had no idea why she would blush. The immortal painter battle goddess had sensed Ching Shui's nine yang qi, and that was why she had looked at him with a hint of surprise and had been in a daze earlier. When she looked at Ching Shui, she thought of a juncture in her cultivation of the immortal steps from her inherited legacy. If she wished to attain a breakthrough, she would need some special fortunate encounters. One of which was to use Nine Yang Qi to clear the barrier. This method was actually very difficult since there were very few men with Nine Yang Qi. She might not get the chance to encounter one. Moreover, she was also unable to accept this method of clearing the obstacle to have sex, allowing Yin and Yang to integrate together, and from there, allowing the Nine Yang Qi to clear the barrier. Ching Shui had no idea what the immortal painter battle goddess was thinking about and thus didn't ask further. We've finally left the ocean domain. Hmm, where is this place? Ching Shui suddenly sensed that this place was getting increasingly hot. Moreover, there were no cities here. There were only tall mountains, lakes, and forests. The terrain was also bumpy and fluctuating, occasionally releasing terrifying auras. We've entered the Nine Suns Purgatory. Niu Lan looked at the map and said to Ching Shui, Nine Suns Purgatory? Ching Shui had previously tried to find out something about the Nine Suns Domain. The Nine Suns Purgatory was considered a more dangerous area within the Nine Suns Domain. It was a place to take risks and go through training, also one of the hottest places in the Nine Suns Domain. Otherwise, it wouldn't be referred to as a purgatory. The Nine Suns Purgatory was scorching hot, and ordinary people who entered this place would be lit up in flames. There were only firewood and demonic beasts with fire attributes here. Moreover, there was no water in the Nine Suns Purgatory, only boiling magma. Any water would evaporate completely here. Some of the fire attributes demonic beasts would eat a type of plant to obtain water. This plant was very mysterious and in a tube shape with water within it. There was quite a number of such plants, and they were the primary water source in the Nine Suns Purgatory. Of course, the people who came to train here would tend to bring along their own water. However, if there were any accidents or if they had finished the water they brought, they would also need to depend on these plants to replenish their water. In the Nine Suns Purgatory, even the rate of water loss that cultivators experienced was also especially fast. There are many good things here. Why don't we go and probe around? We might find some extremely precious stuff. The person who spoke was the Myriad Treasures Battle God. The Myriad Treasures Battle God was one of the people that the immortal painter Battle Goddess had brought along. He wasn't very old but was very fat, like the Mithraya. However, he was very strong and had a lot of treasures. In battles, he would tend to catch his opponents unaware. Many experts died in the hands of the Myriad Treasures Battle God's treasures. Not only did the Myriad Treasures Battle God go out searching for treasures, but he would also create his own. His legacy was similar to mechanics study and he was equipped with dangerous things all over his body. For example, he had created a killer bees. These killer bees weren't very big in size and were only about the size of a human head. They could self-explode and had terrifying venom in their bodies. Moreover, this venom contained the favorite food of other venomous creatures. Therefore, even if the target didn't die after one attack, there would still be other implications which could toy with a person until they die. The Myriad Treasures Battle God had another name the Nine Lives Battle God. He was said to have nine lives. It was usually useless no matter how many times he was killed. He wouldn't die. He had many items on him including those which could die in place of him, preventing him from dying or ones that could allow him to escape instantly. His opponents could have been seeing him beaten to death, but he had in fact long since fled from the scene. Come, let's see what treasures there are in the Nine Suns Purgatory. Ching Shui and the group entered the Nine Suns Purgatory. The temperature felt increasingly hot. It wasn't noon yet, but this place felt like a steamer. There seemed to be a faint layer of steam around the place that was like a fog. Fiery red firewood grew strongly in this environment. There were fire rats, blaze fire birds, fire bees, fire chicken, fire swallows, and others. The plants and animals here were basically related to fire, and most of their colors inclined toward being red. They might even have flames on their bodies. It's said that there are some fire-related divine beasts in the Nine Suns Purgatory. The Yang Stone also comes from this place. There are high-quality food, medicinal plants, forging materials, and sewing materials here. 
The fire cloud silk could be made into the best clothes that had a terrifying defense as well as could be used to ward off fire. Moreover, the clothes made from the fire cloud silk are the most beautiful, said the myriad treasures battle god as they walked. The myriad treasures battle god really did know a lot about good items. They were related to his inherited legacy and his great interest. This resulted in him not having any woman despite the fact that he wasn't young anymore. It seemed that he didn't have much interest in women. Hmm, there are people in front, and they seemed to be fighting. Faint sounds rang out and Ching Shui looked toward the distance. The others were baffled, but the immortal painter battle goddess seemed to have heard it as well. She nodded. Shall we go over and take a look? It's on the way. Let's go and take a look. There are the roars from beasts as well. Let's see if it's someone in trouble, having encountered some terrifying beast. Ching Shui led the others toward where the sound was coming from. Chapter 2476, North Wind, West Ox, Yangstone. It didn't take long for Ching Shui and the others to arrive where the sound was coming from. The two parties were engaged in battle. Or rather, it should be said that one side was on self-defense while the other was attacking. Ten or more people were being surrounded and attacked, and they were now putting up a difficult fight. North Wind, don't be resisting anymore. It's futile. A man standing at the back said proudly. West Ox, you despicable guy. If you're capable, then let's have a duel. Launching an assault on us and winning us with numbers is something that won't convince me even if I were to die. The man called North Wind had a burly build. Holding a huge mountain piercing axe, he cleared up a safe area. Haha, <laughs> won't be convinced even if you were to die? I'm not trying to convince you. I just want you to die. The winners are the ones who get the final say. It's fine even if we were to win with numbers, as long as I can kill you, does it matter what method I use? West Ox laughed happily. They are the North Clan and the West Clan from the Four Directions region from the deepest parts of the Nine Suns domain. These are the four clans who dominate over the Four Directions region in the North, South, East, and West respectively. Their relationship has always been good, and they have been united to be on the same stand. How could something like this possibly happen? The immortal painter battle goddess was baffled by the scene. If one party can dominate over the four directions region by themselves, they'll definitely get rid of the other clans. Ching Shui shook his head. Regardless of where the place was, interests and benefits were the most important. The reason the four directions clans could be on good relations was because they shared common interests. Once the balance tilted, something would definitely happen. Ching Shui didn't wish to get involved in something like this. After all, there was no justice nor evil in a battle like this. It was like what West Ox had said, the winner had the last say and that living was the most important. What he said made a lot of sense. However, Ching Shui didn't really wish for things to be like this. Nothing could be accomplished without norms or standards. Regulations were required even in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Moreover, countless people were using the same methods as West Ox. Everyone hoped that they were the ones using such a method and that others didn't. If you were to hand over the Yangstone to us, we can spare your lives, said West Ox viciously. Dream on. Even if I were to die, I won't hand over this thing to a despicable person like you. North Wind was already injured. Since you're in such a hurry to die, then go on. I'll still be able to get my hands on it after you've died. West Ox was in no hurry. That leaves me with no choice. Friend, take this and run. Run to the Four Directions region and to the North Clan. North Wind tossed an interspatial silk sachet over in Ching Shui's direction. Ching Shui's eyes narrowed. This person was trying to push him into a pit. The Yang Stone might not necessarily be in this interspatial silk sachet and could be just a feint. After having traveled for so many years, Ching Shui was no longer an ignorant young kid. Friend, toss the item over and I won't give you any trouble. West Ox looked calmly at Ching Shui's group and said, his voice was filled with great confidence. It turned out that the reason for their dispute was the Yangstone. Ching Shui and the others had been talking about the Yangstone a moment ago. It was a really good stuff and was said to be divine grade metal ore that had dropped from the sky. It could be used to forge divine weapons, divine armors, or other divine treasures. If I were to run away with this interspatial silk sachet, I might end up getting killed. I'd not die an aggrieved death. Ching Shui tossed the interspatial silk sachet back to North Wind. Although this person appeared to look righteous, he turned out to be a scheming person as well. He called West Ox despicable, but it seemed that he was no better himself. I was just testing out how courageous you are. Not bad, 
Take this and run. North Wind tossed out another interspatial sachet. Ching Shui caught it and looked. He saw that there was a big piece of stone in the sachet that was flashing with a bright glow. It seemed as if it was burning in golden flames while being surrounded with a thick layer of something that seemed like stones. This piece of stone wasn't small, being two meters in both length, width, and height. It had an irregular shape that was closer to a cube. When the immortal painter battle goddess and the myriad treasures battle gods saw it, they were both taken by surprise. The value of such a big piece of ying stone was definitely very terrifying. Does this ying stone belong to me now? Ching Shui looked at North Wind. Of course, but it's hard to say whether you'd be able to leave. If you can run to the Four Directions region's North Clan, they can ensure your safety. North Wind smiled. He's from the North Clan. If you were to run to his place, the Yang Stone will still be taken away by them. Why don't you hand it over to our West Clan? You won't be in any danger either, West Ox said. I also want this Yang Stone. Ching Shui tossed the interspatial silk sachet into the realm of the Violet Jade Immortal. Kid. You better think it over carefully, wealth can bring you trouble. It'd be bad if you eventually lose both your life and your wealth. You might as well give it to our West Clan, and I can give you some other compensation. West Ox frowned. He had thought that the other party would hand over the item if he were to say a few words. This thing didn't belong to this young man in the first place, and no one dared to fight for things with the West Clan in the Four Directions region. The Four Directions region was formed from a stretch of cities and was a subsidiary domain that came under the Nine Suns domain. There were many other domains that came under the Nine Suns domain, and these domains would be formed from countless cities, towns, fields, as well as mountains and rivers. That guy from earlier has given it to me. He doesn't wish to hand it over to you, so it'd be bad for me to give it to you. Moreover, this thing is now mine, so why do I have to give it to you, said Ching Shui as a matter of factly. West Ox wasn't the only one stunned. Even North Wind was also in a bit of a daze, thus, they had stopped their battle. Since the Yang Stone was no longer in North Wind's hand, there wasn't a need to continue with the battle. The potential casualty wouldn't be worth it. North Wind, why do I feel that we've been done in? Give it a try. See if you can get it back. West Ox smiled and said, Even if I were to ask for it back, it'd still be snatched by you. I might as well don't want it answered North Wind. Humph, a feigned gentleman. You'll use unscrupulous means to snatch it back later, said West Ox in contempt. If there's nothing else, we'll be making a move first. Ching Shui seemed to want to pass by them and leave. This place is within the Four Directions region. I didn't expect that there's someone who can neglect our Four Directions clans like this. I'll say it once more, leave the Yingstone behind. West Ox said coldly. Have you been kicked in the head by a donkey? How many times have I said this? I need this Yang Stone, Ching Shui said. North Wind chuckled, haha, had been kicked by a donkey. Moreover, it should still be a small and wild donkey. Do it. Kill him. Kill all the men and leave the women behind. West Ox looked at Ching Shui's group. The women in their group were really unrivaled beauties, and the people who could bear to kill them would either be women or men who had a different inclination in their sexual orientation. Ching Shui's eyes narrowed. It was one thing for them to want to kill him, but if they wished to set their eyes on his women, then they'd be courting death. Stellar transposition? Ching Shui turned toward the people who were charging at him and struck with stellar transposition. It was an extremely brilliant sight, like that of the Milky Way and Setting Sun. Although these people were also experts, they were still a far cry from people at Ching Shui's level. The stellar transposition would just kill them instantly. About 40 people had come charging over but all of them were practically killed from this attack. Blood came raining down, and then they disappeared. Both North Wind and West Ox frowned. This guy was very strong, and his strength even caused their hearts to palpitate, they felt uneasy. Silence filled up the place and all of them didn't budge at all. Don't be courting trouble, otherwise, I'll make sure that you guys won't be able to live. Ching Shui chuckled and led the others to leave. No one dared to make a move, even West Ox had tensed up. However, West Ox tried very hard to control himself and not allow himself to charge toward Ching Shui. Chapter 2477, Venomous Black Snake, Hell Demonic Snake. Just like that, Ching Shui's group walked past them and headed to the depths of the Nine Suns Purgatory. North Wind, you fool, why did you have to give it to him? This is great, West Ox said angrily. 
How would I know that I'd encounter such a domineering person? Moreover, this isn't bad either. It's better than giving it to you. North Wind smiled and said. West Ox didn't manage to get his hands on the Ying Stone and had lost several tens of people, so much more than the number of deaths from the North Clan. These people were the talents in the clan, and in a massive clan, these people were considered to be lower-level leaders. They were the mid-tier personnel and were very important. Let's go back. We'll get more people from the clan and block him. How could you just give up such a big piece of Ying Stone like this? The more West Ox thought about it, the angrier he felt. He had a strong urge to kill North Wind and his group, but that wouldn't do sh asterisk t. North Wind's thoughts were in chaos, but he felt very happy. Anyway, he wouldn't have been able to safeguard the Ying Stone and he might have even lost his life here. So, this ending wasn't bad. Even though he didn't get his hands on the Ying Stone, the people from the West Clan hadn't gotten their hands on it either. He felt a lot more peaceful. We're leaving. North Wind shook his head and then left. Oomph, bloody imbecile. West Ox could not help but murmur. Those two idiots must be very angry. Hao Tian grinned. Of course. However, the Four Directions clans aren't to be trifled with. They'll definitely send people to come after us, as this is their territory. This is even more so for the West Clan. Earlier on, the North Clan had been restraining them, but the West Clan had always been ambitious, wanting to merge the four clans into one, said the immortal painter Battle Goddess. MMM, there's no need to worry. We aren't pushovers either. Moreover, the four clans aren't on good terms with each other, and they won't kick up a big fuss over this, said Ching Shui very confidently. That's true. Even if they can get rid of us, they wouldn't do it. They can't afford to get rid of their opponents at the cost of a great casualty. Hmm, look, what's that? Just then, the myriad treasures battle god pointed to the distance and said. Ching Shui looked over and discovered that it was a red chicken. Its appearance looked like that of a chicken, had a height of one meter, and was fiery red. Its eyes were pitch black and its two chicken legs were thin and long as if they were two steel rods. I got it. It's the fire chicken spirit, a superior divine grade food. Legend has it that celestials rear this fire chicken spirit, said the myriad treasures battle god happily. Ching Shui thought of how he had similar things, including the ninth grade divine chicken and the mountain boar spirit. The ninth grade divine chicken was a chicken that could lay only one egg. However, it laid a lot of eggs in the realm of the violet jade immortal. The mountain boar spirits were now reared successfully in the realm of the violet jade immortal. Their flesh was extremely fresh. This fire chicken spirit should be of similar quality. Catch it. It was very easy for the group to catch this fire chicken spirit. The fire chicken spirit also had its life-saving measures and was very fast. Furthermore, given on how the place was filled with red firewood all around, it could rapidly disappear. This was a form of camouflage. Compared to the animals in Ching Shui's previous life, these creatures were much more skilled in hiding themselves. After capturing it, Ching Shui tossed it right into the realm of the Violet Jade Immortal and let it be a companion for the ninth grade Divine Chicken. The others didn't say anything either. They had no idea where Ching Shui had tossed the Fire Chicken Spirit to and weren't even sure that it was still alive. After they had taken down the Fire Chicken Spirit, a dangerous aura encompassed the place. Ching Shui tensed up. He wasn't the only one feeling it. Everyone seemed to feel as if some evil creature had its eyes on them, and they were all shivering. Damn. The problem lays on this fire chicken spirit. They say that the fire chicken spirit is the hell demonic snake's favorite food. Have we encountered a hell demonic snake? The immortal painter battle goddess face turned pale when she remembered about this fact. That's right. Look over there. Ching Shui smiled bitterly and pointed to the distance. It was a pitch black mountain range. But on a closer look, one would discover that it wasn't a mountain range but was a huge black snake, piling up like a small mountain. It was emitting an eerie, cold aura. This was the hell demonic snake, a legendary evil creature with terrifying strength. Most importantly, it specialized in a heavenly technique that was similar to charming. Many people didn't even know how they had died. This was also the hell demonic snake's most terrifying ability. Once a person got hit by that attack, it'd be over for them. Hand over the fire chicken spirit, and I'll let you guys off, a cold voice rang out. Ching Shui frowned as he didn't like this tone. He had always viewed himself as a nobody, and people like him tended to have a very strong sense of pride. Ching Shui looked at this hell demonic snake and didn't feel very worried. 
If you want the fire chicken spirit, then you'll have to win it over. Ching Shui smiled and said, Ha ha, young man, you're interesting. You're the most courageous person I've ever met. I'll fulfill your wish. The hell demonic snake swung its body toward Ching Shui. Its huge body was like a mountain, possessed great impact. It instantly sent the surroundings into pitch black darkness. Black fog with a strong disgusting stench filled up the place. This fog was also extremely poisonous. Area Dominance? Ching Shui was thankful that he had area dominance and nature energy. Otherwise, he would have died many times over. Over 90% of the experts were afraid to encounter opponents that were skilled in poison and were of similar strength level to themselves. An opponent that was skilled in poison yet were weak in strength wouldn't be able to do much to an expert anyway. It would be like how ordinary people incapable of handling simple poison. Things were different for the strong as low-level poison wouldn't be able to invade into their bodies. Since poison was so powerful, it was likely that many people would learn it. However, this wasn't how things were. For example, some people who could go on relatively far on the path of martial arts wouldn't be too willing to get close to poison. Moreover, there were many requirements for those who wished to learn the art of poison. For example, the requirement for one's physique was high, else one could die from their own poison easily. Even if one fulfilled the requirement for their physique, it would still be very dangerous. It wouldn't be easy for there to be one survivor out of 10 who had learned the art of poison. Just this success rate alone would scare off 99% of the people out there. Therefore, there were very few cultivators who could use poison. In comparison to humans, poisonous beasts were different. They enjoyed exceptional advantages and were born with a poisonous body, possessing their own poisonous liquid, venom storage, or things like that. As they grew, everything would mature and if they were to come into contact with some fortunate opportunities, they could become even more terrifying. Of course, poison beasts were also differentiated into different grades and regardless of which grade they were at, they would all be dangerous existences in their respective grades. The fog in the surroundings dissipated and Ching Shui looked around. He quickly brought out poison neutralizing pills for the others. It was because one third of the group had been poisoned and their countenances were extremely pale. Their internal organs were slowly depreciating. What a terrifying venom. This is just 20% of my prowess in poison. Have you come to regret it? Half of you can leave if you were to hand over the fire chicken spirit now. The hell demonic snake's cold voice rang out. Dragon slaying beast? Ching Shui was fully on guard as this creature was very powerful. The moment the dragon slaying beast came out, the hell demonic snake lost 20% of its strength. When the hell demonic snake saw the dragon slaying beast, it trembled. It had the dragon's blood lineage in its body, and this fear was one that came from its soul. However, it only had a slight shiver. The hell demonic snake looked at the dragon slaying beast and said, to think that you have this kind of dragon slaying beast. It's a pity that it hasn't grown enough. Emperor's Chi? Ching Shui smiled and struck out with his Emperor's Chi. By this time, the hell demonic snake was no longer able to remain calm. Despite feeling quite disgusted to have his strength reduced by 20%, it could still handle this outcome. However, now that it had another 20% of its strength lowered, it felt so outrageous to the extent of wanting to cough up blood. Chapter 2478, Violent Slash, West Rondu. Ching Shui had only called out the dragon slaying beast to probe the water. There were many strong snake typed creatures with the dragon bloodline, so if this creature also had the dragon bloodline, he would feel a lot more at ease. It instantly lost 40% of its overall strength, but its poison wouldn't weaken. Art of Pursuing? Buddha Wisdom Seal? Heavenly Vision Technique? This clumsy creature instantly became very slow in front of Ching Shui. At this moment, the dragon slaying beast received Ching Shui's orders to charge out toward the hell demonic snake. Hiss hiss. The hell demonic snake released sharp hissing sounds, sending out black wind that covered up the sky. This wind was several times more terrifying than the tornadoes in Ching Shui's previous life. People who weren't strong enough would be torn into pieces and disappear. Black current seethed in the air, and the sharp slash of the wind sounded like the cries of wild beasts. Even a small mountain shattered under the impact of this terrifying black wind, turning into dust and disappearing into the air. The dragon-slaying beast was situated in the center of the wind and was blown away. Open? Several black caves appeared behind the hell demonic snake. The black caves were like hell, with ghost fire flashing within them. 
there was dead silence within the caves with low growls that would make one's head turn numb. Legend had it that the hell demonic snake came from the Nine Spirits Hell region, not the hell that was thought of by people from Ching Shui's previous life. The Nine Spirits Hell region was the dark underground world of the Nine Continents. The hell demonic snake was a powerful existence there and specialized in darkness and fire attributes. There were plenty of earthly flames, molten lava, as well as poisonous plants in the underground world. Who? Black flames were spewed out from one of the caves. They were pitch black like ink and would make one feel fear by the sight of them. Hellfire? Ching Shui wasn't unfamiliar to this. In the past, Dark Phoenix had been the Hellfire Phoenix and used the Hellfire. However, the Dark Phoenix's strength was a far cry from this Hell Demonic Snake. Naturally, Dark Phoenix's Hellfire was also a lot weaker than the Hell Demonic Snake's. The Hell Demonic Snake's huge body lit up in seething flames. It raised its head, swung its tail, and its huge body swept out toward the group. Dragon capturing hands? Roar. The huge gold dragon charged out toward the Hell Demonic Snake. Ching Shui saw the hell demonic snake pause for a moment and then was caught by his dragon capturing hands. It was struck by a short bout of dizziness before its attack came sweeping out once again. Six mortal steps, divine weapon flying sword. Ching Shui quickly took six of the mortal steps and his strength surged to the peak. The divine weapon flying sword appeared in his hand, rapidly becoming a huge sword with a brilliant silvery white color. He then slashed out toward the hell demonic snake. A brilliant glow dissipated the surrounding fog, and sacred power seemed to want to open up the sky, possessing a sharpness that seemed to be able to destroy everything. The hell demonic snake sensed danger. This aura was too dangerous and being very nimble, thus, it stopped its sweeping body. However, Ching Shui had used the heavenly vision technique, and the hell demonic snake's speed had been reduced by a lot in his perspective. Therefore, it was unable to draw back its body in time. Pa. A crisp sound rang out, sending blood fog soaring into the sky. There was also a sharp agonizing cry as the huge hell demonic snake had almost half of its body cut off by Ching Shui. The hell demonic snake was not smaller than the size of a small mountain, so one could imagine how thick and strong its body was. Ching Shui got the divine weapon flying sword to become sufficiently big and slashed the hell demonic snake into two. The hell demonic snake didn't die, but blood spurted out crazily from its body. The blood flew like a flooding river, gushing out and instantly dyeing the land in red. However, the hell demonic snake's wound quickly stopped bleeding, and its body suddenly shrank in size. It then darted underground and disappeared. Ching Shui had felt earlier that things weren't going well. By the time he reacted, it was already too late. Other than poison and flames, the hell demonic snake also had the earth attribute. Since it excelled in the earth attribute, Drilling into the ground would be an easy feat for it. Ching Shui tossed the bisected snake body into the poison lake in the realm of the Violet Jade Immortal. This was also a venomous item and shouldn't be left to go to waste. Everyone felt a bit regretful to see that the hell demonic snake had escaped. However, it was seriously hurt and wouldn't be able to recover before 8 or 10 years had passed. As for whether it could recover to its original state, it would be depended on whether it could find any heavenly and earthly treasures. After staying in the Nine Suns Purgatory for a week, they had encountered several powerful demonic beasts. Some members of the group had gotten hurt as well. However, they had also found some good medicinal herbs which Ching Shui didn't have. They didn't continue to advance any further. Given their current strength, it would be too much for them to venture deeper in. Therefore, the group headed out together. Their time spent in the Nine Suns Purgatory wasn't bad. Although they hadn't found many treasures, they had gotten more experience and were fighting against demonic beasts every day. Their takeaways from this trip were still considered to be quite good. They didn't come across many treasures, but the large Yang stone they had gotten from the North Clan was considered to be a lucky fortune. It didn't take long for them to leave this place, but the moment they did, they realized that there were many people around them, and they soon set their eyes on their group. Ching Shui looked in the direction the glances were coming from and smiled. They were the people from the West Clan, the North Clan, and quite several other people. It seemed that there were people from all the Four Directions clans. What were they trying to do? Ching Shui knew that there was no way for him to get away from this. He was very capable and wasn't scared of these people, thus, he led the group and was about to leave. Friend, wait up. A mature male voice that sounded low and powerful rang out. From the person's voice, 
Ching Shui could tell that this was a person with strong foundations and confidence. Ching Shui's eyes narrowed as he looked toward the man who was walking toward him. The person seemed to be middle-aged, dressed well, and also good-looking. This was a very charming man but gave off the feeling that he was a little proud. However, this man did seem to have the right to be a little arrogant. The man was quite strong, even more so than Ching Shui. However, he was a far cry from the current Dark Phoenix. He was probably about the same level as the primordial dragon elephant. However, if Ching Shui were to apply weakening on him, he would suffer plenty. Moreover, if Ching Shui were to use the mortal steps, he would be able to instantly deal with this man. Ching Shui only had to use the mortal steps together with the divine weapon flying sword or the stellar transposition to hit his target. You are. Ching Shui could guess that he was from the Four Directions clans. It was because he saw North Wind and West Ox behind him. I'm West Rondu, from the Four Directions clan's West clan, said the man confidently. Oh, hello, is anything the matter? Ching Shui nodded. West Rondu was stunned as well. This guy either thought very well of himself or was an idiot. However, Ching Shui didn't seem to be like an idiot to him. It's like this. A junior in our clan says that their Ying Stone is with you. We have use for it, so why don't you return it to us? West Rondu said outright. There was no need to beat about the bush. Moreover, Ching Shui seemed to be even more capable than himself in the area of feigning ignorance. West Rondu was very confident. He believed that Ching Shui would return it. With the West clan's reputation as well as his own, no one wouldn't give him some face. Moreover, he saw that Ching Shui was very young. West Rondu had met many young geniuses, but all of them were but trash to him. I'm sorry, you're mistaken. I don't have anything that belongs to them. Don't lose your sense of judgment over a junior's gibberish. Toward juniors who talk gibberish, you should teach them a good lesson. Otherwise, in the long run, they'll bring trouble to the clan. Ching Shui shook his head and said apologetically. Chapter 2479, Headquarters, Demon City, Divine City. There was naturally no way Ching Shui would hand over the Ying Stone. The other party weren't good people and had even tried to make use of him earlier. To think that they were trying to set their eyes on him just because they weren't able to team up. Did he look so much like a pushover? Ching Shui spoke very calmly. The Four Directions clan were quite strong, but it wouldn't be that easy for them to lay their hands on him. West Rondu was very surprised over Ching Shui's words. He naturally believed that the junior in his clan wouldn't lie to him. He continued to smile warmly at Ching Shui, saying, You're saying that you're planning to keep our thing for yourself. I said that you're mistaken. I don't have anything that belongs to your clan. Do you think that I'm a pushover just because I'm not from this place? Ching Shui looked at West Rondu and asked, Our Four Directions clans won't stoop down to bullying others, but we won't let others bully us either. Don't force me to make a move as it wouldn't be good for any of us. Unreasonable. Ching Shui shook his head. West Rondu's countenance turned grim. He looked at Ching Shui without blinking and took a step forward. Intense pressure gushed out toward Ching Shui, and there seemed to be wind in the air that gathered crazily. Eventually, a strong gale that was like that of a tornado went charging out toward Ching Shui. Trifling tricks. Ching Shui took one step forward. The tornado-like aura dissipated. However, West Rondu reached out his hand from afar and grabbed out toward Ching Shui. Take a few attacks from me. Wind God Hand? West Rondu's palm launched a heavenly technique. It was very big and long, and was also very fast. It contained terrifying powers and also had some amazing uses. It integrated into one with the wind in the sky and had exceptional speed, darting about. Heavenly Vision Technique? Ching Shui moved his hands in a simple wave, swaying casually. Cloud hands? To be exact, this hand technique was no longer one that could be properly classified. In the past, it had been cloud hands, but thereafter, it evolved to only have a basic form of the cloud hands and then eventually losing all form entirely. Great Dao was a stage of simplifying things. This casual hand movement included the berserk dragon fist, Taiki, back connecting fist, Yu emperor fist, solitary rapid fist. Even the mountain push stance, the saintly hands, and the soft tendon hand technique had been incorporated in. Despite there being so many things incorporated together, it appeared extremely simple and casual. Pa, neither party backed off. They immediately drew back their hands upon contact and then strike again. This was a form of probing and then followed by a close exchange. Pa, 
Densely packed explosive sounds rang out in the sky as both of their hands got into a tangle. If any mistakes were to happen, they would be slapped by the opponents to the state where their bones and tendons would break. I've underestimated you. West Rondu looked at Ching Shui in surprise. This guy was younger than him, yet his strength was astonishing. Although he had yet to use his full powers, it should be the same for the other party as well. I have no intention to make enemies, nor do I wish to fight such a meaningless battle. It'd be easy for me to kill you. If you don't have any treasures that can save your life, then don't come and fight against me. Ching Shui gave it some thought before looking at West Rondu and said. West Rondu was a proud person and when he heard Ching Shui saying that it'd be easy for Ching Shui to kill him, his countenance was extremely grim. However, he could tell that Ching Shui didn't seem to be joking and this made him very hesitant. After all, this matter concerned his life. Despite so, it'd be extremely shameful to be scared off by just a few words. West Rondu was very hesitant, but at this moment, Ching Shui smiled and said, You can choose to not believe me. To be honest, I'm not fearful toward you guys at all. It's very easy for me to kill you and yet I can still make a clean retreat. I'm planning to leave this place. My target is the extreme north. Rondu, come back. Let this youngster and his group leave. An old man walked out and said, Grandfather. West Rondu backed off and called out softly, Our four directions clans have been offending you. Please don't hold it against us, the old man said seriously. Ching Shui looked at this old man and greeted, Hello sir. I'll thank you for letting us pass then. I wouldn't dare to accept your thanks. Please, go ahead. Ching Shui nodded and led the group to leave this place. Grandfather, why did you let them leave? West Rondu held great admiration for his grandfather and had always been abiding toward him. He had been baffled earlier, but yet he still listened to the old man's instructions without any hesitation. After Ching Shui left, he couldn't help but ask. He is an innate-born paragon. Thus, it won't do us any good to offend him. He wants to head to the extreme north where the paragon god Hall is. He might have come from there, the old man said softly. Many people fell silent and entered deep in thought. This old man from the West clan was an old ancestor-level character even amongst the Four Directions clans. He had the most experience and when the others couldn't decide on certain matters, they would seek his advice. Ching Shui had no idea why the old man would let him leave. He wouldn't think that the old man had been scared off by him. Since the old man allowed him to leave, it was for the best. He wasn't afraid that they would come up with any tricks. Boss, why do you think they chose to let us off? Hao Tian smiled and asked. Boss is a demonic character. That old man should have his unique ways to assess people and must have seen that boss is very exceptional. Otherwise, he wouldn't have let us off. Ling Chen smiled and said. Ching Shui shook his head, not knowing what to say. This old man was special. He had a special ability the wisdom eye. This allowed him to see through people who were terrifyingly strong even if his cultivation wasn't high. He had seen two of such people in this lifetime, across several centuries, and Ching Shui was the third. The previous two had both become extremely strong existences that the Four Directions clans couldn't afford to offend. Furthermore, he felt that Ching Shui seemed to be even more terrifying compared to the other two he had encountered previously. This was also the reason why the old man made this decision. Ching Shui felt a little lost after leaving the Four Directions region. The Nine Suns domain was bigger than the Nine Moons domain, and this was the greatest pinnacle in the Nine Continents. It was the most prosperous, and there were countless clans who had a long history in martial arts. There were also countless dynasties and countries. The Nine Continents Martial Association, Nine Continents Food Residence, and other organizations could be seen everywhere as well. The Four Directions domain was considered to be an inconspicuous place, being just a small area at the Nine Suns domain's borders. What a big river! Ching Shui looked at the river in front of him, unable to find words to describe it. This was a river and not a sea, yet it was even more well-known compared to the sea. Furthermore, it was a legendary existence the Nine Suns Divine River. This river was too big, even bigger than ordinary seas. Its length and width were both unknown. This river extended out across the entire Nine Suns domain and was an important water domain in the Nine Suns domain. There was a faint gold color in the river's water and it tasted sweet, filled with fish and prawns. It was also so deep that one couldn't see the depths of it. It was said that there was a huge underwater world at the bottom, but they would be situated in specialized areas and would appear in the depths of the rivers. 
as this river was too wide, even more so than big seas, the dangers would also be in the depths of the river. There were many boats and ships on the river, pulled by demonic beasts in the water. Some people traveled directly while riding on the demonic beasts. This was like an extremely wide pathway, but weak people wouldn't dare to venture too deep into it. After all, it was too dangerous. Where shall we go? There are too many places, and this place is too big. Hao Tian clicked his tongue and sighed as he looked at the map. Look, this is the demon city and this is the divine city. There are also other places such as Martial City. These places should be where the demon gates and divine palaces headquarters are located. We should head to the divine city. Qing Shui looked at the place that was slightly north on the Nine Suns domain, but it wasn't in the extreme north. Chapter 2480, Messed Up Divine Palace Nation Divine City? By the time Qing Shui's group arrived in Divine City, half a year had already passed. It was a long journey and they weren't in a hurry. Sometimes, they would even stop at a place for a couple of days. There were some places which could allow them to travel via teleportation arrays, and in those places, Qing Shui would choose to do so. The Divine City was the same as Mortal City. It wasn't just a city but was actually a region that was comparable to an empire. Be it the Divine City or the Demon City, they each represented an area that was within their influences. They were the dominators in the area. The city walls appeared old and prestigious, dignified but not boring. This place wasn't like the ancient era in the world of Qing Shui's previous life. Qing Shui felt that it would be very outdated and the colors would be dominated by black and white. However, there was another type of civilization here. There were light stones and extravagant-looking buildings. Although there were no automobiles, there were luxurious beast carriages. There were no planes here, but there were huge flying beasts. These gave an even greater impact than the flying swords mentioned in Qing Shui's previous life. The area was wider, the speed was faster, and the strength was greater than that of the bulldozers and big trucks. Qing Shui had no idea how things were for Tantai Linjian in the Demon City. However, he knew that she should be vying for the position of the Demon Gates sect leader in the Demon Gates headquarters about now. The Divine City had an endless rustic aura. It was an ancient legacy and from the moment they entered the city, Qing Shui immediately noticed that many people dressed up in a way that was similar to that of battle gods. However, they were not actually battle gods. Those people should be considered to be those at the lower levels of the battle god's influence. The times were changing and the things in Qing Shui's inheritance weren't fully accurate anymore. In the past, the divine palace should be very fair and harmonious, just like the age of Yao, Shen, and Yu in Qing Shui's previous life. However, things changed there their times and Qing Shui felt that the situation here was similar to that. Right now, the Divine City was about the same level as the sex with inherited legacies and royal families, passing on their positions. They each had their own strength and had formed a sect amongst themselves. This was, unless there were stronger people who were capable of taking down the Divine Palace. After arriving in the Divine City for half a day, they had obtained some simple information. They found a random inn to quickly take a rest and then continued on their way. This time around, Qing Shui didn't use the Nine Continents steps. He tried to find more information along the way. On the way, Qing Shui realized that there were many divine palaces in the divine city. There would be at least one divine palace in each place. There were nine continents divine palace Clea River, nine continents divine palace Carp River. A random person from the divine palace would be like an aristocrat from an empire. They had to be branched out. Otherwise, the people from the headquarters wouldn't be able to manage them. Moreover, the headquarters didn't have the time to deal with this. This was the Divine City, and Qing Shui wanted to see how strong the battle gods here were. Most of them had their own respective inheritances. Some of the battle gods had been in this place for no less than several decades and their influences had already been deeply rooted to the place. For a massive organization like the Divine Palace, the Divine City was the foundation. The Divine Palaces Qing Shui had encountered in the past were far cry from them, not connected like the ones here. This was the real Divine Palace organization. I beg of you, let my daughter off. She doesn't wish to become the Divine Palace's holy maiden. Please let her off, I'll cow out to you. I beg of you. Many people crowded around and crying sounds could be heard. It's her blessings that the Divine Palace has chosen her. Don't obstruct the Divine Palace from its duties. Otherwise, we'll arrest you. An arrogant voice rang out. Sigh, this is really sinful. An old man sighed and shook his head. 
Ching Shui and the group happened to walk over. He smiled and asked, Uncle, what's the matter here? Why does it look like someone is being forced to become the Divine Palace's holy maiden? Ching Shui saw a married lady kneeling on the ground with disheveled hair. She was pulling another lady next to her. They were facing ten more more men with burly builds. One of them was looking at the beautiful lady with a lewd expression. The old man looked at Ching Shui with some wariness, shook his head, and didn't say anything. I have no ill intentions, nor am I one of them. I've just arrived in this place today and they gave me the feeling as if they are forcibly seizing women. Ching Shui knew that the old man was scared of getting into trouble if he were to speak recklessly. Ha! Huh. The old man sighed again and shook his head. Ching Shui could tell that the old man wouldn't say anything, but he had already known what was happening. Therefore, it no longer mattered whether the old man spoke up or not. I beg of you. I don't wish to become the Divine Palace's holy maiden. Please let me off. The young lady begged while trembling. You guys are really daring. Do you think that you have the option of not becoming the holy maiden just because you say so? Do you still have any respect for the Divine Palace? Do you believe that I can arrest you guys and have you be confined for life? The arrogant man glared and said, Young Master Shen, I only have this daughter. Please let us off. I'll erect a plague for you at home and pray for your blessings. The married lady wailed as she grabbed onto the man's sleeves. You don't know what's good for you. Take them all away. They deserve to be killed for looking down on the divine palace. Young Master Shen waved his hand. People from the surroundings headed over, wanting to take this mother and daughter pair away. Who gave you the right to do this? Since when has there been holy maidens in the divine palace? What battle gods are you guys? Ching Shui was enraged. He was a battle god inheritance and felt that this inheritance he received was sacred. However, he didn't expect things to turn out like this. It seemed that they were no better than the demon gate. Ching Shui suddenly felt very disappointed in the divine palace. Who are you? This is the divine palace's matters. Young master Shen looked at Ching Shui and said sternly. However, his eyes quickly landed on the few women behind Ching Shui. Young master Shen's eyes gleamed. His hand was still grabbing on that young lady from earlier. He had thought that this lady was very beautiful and wanted to bring her back to have some fun, using the recruitment of a holy maiden as an excuse. It wasn't the first time he had done something like this. However, after seeing the few women behind Ching Shui and then looking at the young lady he was grabbing onto, the latter no longer seemed beautiful. He let go of his hands. All right, you guys can leave. I'm in a good mood today and Shanti pursue the matter of you offending the Divine Palace. Thank you sir, thank you. The mother and daughter cried out in joy and then quickly left after saying their thanks. Ching Shui shook his head and wanted to leave. He was in no mood to deal with something like this. Anyway, the guy had already let that mother and daughter off. Although there were things that one might find hard to accept in life, they had their reasons for existing. Moreover, Ching Shui felt that many people in the Divine City were like this. Stop right there. Did I say that you can leave? Young Master Shen shouted toward Ching Shui. Oh, is anything else the matter? Ching Shui smiled, but there was strong killing intent in his eyes. Our Divine Palace is looking for a holy maiden. The few of them seem suitable. Congratulations. Young Master Shen said with a solemn expression. Ching Shui felt that this guy was like an idiot. Who hired this guy to act like a clown? F asterisk CK, where did a fool like you come from? Why would we need your congratulations? I'd be disgusted if I had to kill trash like you. I have no idea how you managed to survive until today. How Tian couldn't hold back and cursed. If this person was a real idiot, it'd be fine. The thing was, this idiot was trying to put up a clever act. He treated everyone else as idiots, thinking that other people wouldn't be able to tell what lewd thoughts he had being a toad that lusted over a swan's flesh. He seemed as if it was other people's good fortune that he could enjoy their women. Oh, you're berating me. Young Master Shen looked at Hao Tian in astonishment. Hmm, of course I am. You're really too idiotic, not even knowing that I've berated you. Hao Tian nodded. There hasn't been anyone who dares to oppose me, the young Master Shen. You're courting death. Do you know what place this is? Young Master Shen wore an expression which seemed to say that Ching Shui's group had gotten themselves into big trouble. Early Chinese often speak of Yao, Shen, 
and you the great as historical figures, and contemporary historians believed they may represent leader chiefs of allied tribes who established a unified and hierarchical system of government in a transition period to the patriarchal feudal society.